California to see how you're getting on for getting that piece that we said we Oh, great, Robert. We're just editing it now. Robert, don't forget, your radio interview is on later. Oh, great. And remember to tune in. Bye, Sue. My name is Robert Thompson, and I am a substantially blind person. But I try not to let that define my life totally, and that I do many other things. Okay. Thirteen years ago, I developed a condition called macular degeneration with other complications like drusen. And from there, I had a sudden loss of sight, which was quite traumatic. And since then, my sight has deteriorated uh, gradually. Sudden sight loss was quite a defining moment in my, in my life in that I was not now able to do many things that I was able to do before. It took me a year or a year and a half to adjust, which I did gradually. Things that helped me particularly were I learned how to use my mobility cane, which was a great tool for navigating my way around. A couple of years ago where I needed greater assistance than just the mobility cane, I applied for a guide dog. Uh, that took a little time because there was a, a backlog of getting dogs, but eventually the opportunity came in uh, 2019 and I was invited to go to the Irish Guide Dogs premises in Cork where a dog was matched up to me and subsequently went there for three weeks to train. That is to train me now, not the dog of course. The dog was already well trained, but I had to learn how to manage the dog. I've had the dog it's called Rona for a little over a year. My dog is now three years old. She's a little bit frisky and energetic. We get along very well in general and we walk quite a bit. As to interacting with people out walking, particularly during the COVID time, it's been very good to see people. It gives a little bit of extra space on the footpath because my dog doesn't understand standing aside for somebody. She just will go wherever she sees the appropriate gap that the two of us can get through. Now, if you want to know how to react to a blind person coming with a guide dog just gives a little bit more space in the footpath and after that the dog will find their own way but instances where you could help would be if you see somebody like me standing looking for the door of a particular premises and if you see that sort of thing happening then you could ask uh, if you could offer some help and that would be wonderful one very helpful thing you could do of course would be at bus stops because i don't see a bus coming and i alone see what number it is so I just stand there with my hand out and of course if I have to stand there any length of time it gets a bit tiring. So you could be very helpful and offer to stop a bus for me. Robert, that radio interview is on. Oh good, I'm tuning right now. Assistive software enabled me to continue doing things like typing and reading emails and doing spreadsheets. Indeed, it was with the assistance of my computer that I was able to write a book, which is entitled Insights into an Unsighted World. This is a series of tips that the world at large might like to know in how to interact with a visually impaired person, as well as a series of personal uh, life stories which are interesting and amusing in their own way. The entire book is written in an anecdotal, interesting manner. You can get that book, of course, from the National Council for the Blind of Ireland.